Welcome to Weekly Entrepreneur TV. Again, I'm Nita Idealist. Now this is episode one, speaking of Vision 101. We'll actually be talking about some great principles, some great tips and tricks about how you can actually create your vision and actually work toward your vision. So I'm actually going to go over what is a vision, how to create it, and also the four components of a vision. Because you need a vision when you're working on your business, when you're working on your life goals, uh, your business goals, uh, and anything, your passion, your career, you know, whatever you do, but you need a vision, especially if you really, really love and you truly believe in what you're doing, okay? So stick to the end of this video. Hey, what's going on? This is Nina Idealist. Welcome to Weekly Entrepreneur TV, episode one. Now, like I said before in this video, I started Weekly Entrepreneur TV because as a way of me giving you more value and also tips and tricks about how to improve your life and also your business too as well. Um, and in this episode, I actually want to talk to you about vision, having a vision. You know, that's why I call it Vision 101 because it's really simple steps um, and basics of you know basically essentials that you will actually need upon getting to where you want to be you know without a vision you you really won't even have you will be lost basically which leads me to this without a vision you will perish in the unknown basically what that mean is without having a clear vision and clarity of what do you want out of life you will be lost throughout your journey um and this is a big one for me like you know back a few years back before I got started in my um, entrepreneur career uh, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 13 um, so in 2005 um, is when I went through a hurricane Hurricane Katrina and that right there lost me my vision not physically but mentally I didn't even know where I will be headed and where I would be at within five years and throughout the years after Hurricane Katrina I was lost I really had no direction at all I really didn't even have a sense of urgency about my life I was just going through life and just riding the mediocre wave you know but three years ago when I decided when I actually made a decision to better my life and to actually just say hey you know what I know I deserve better I need to go get it I uh, was able to actually get help of creating my own vision you know one of my mentors was telling me about having a vision and he was saying you know having a vision actually gives you a sense of urgency and direction as to where you are going towards and moving forward in your life and also in your career basically a look into the future as you would say and you know it made a lot of sense you know and I was like okay having a vision if I see where I'm going then I will be I will be set, you know, <laughs> I will be set, I'll be able to, you know, be able to look forward to something, especially when I'm, when you're out in the grind in your field, when you're uh, getting to close sales, getting leads, getting traffic, what, what doesn't matter if it's even in sales or even entrepreneurship, whether you're um, in your passion as, um, as basically anything, whether you're a dancer or a writer, you know, you know, what you're doing and then you know the actual rewards that's behind that you actually want and you know what you're working towards so there are four components of a vision one you must decide what you want okay that's the first thing decide what you want like I said before you know three years ago when I got involved in this industry uh, marketing industry at that and it, it really helped me you know gain clarity about what do I actually want you know what do I want out of life I've never asked myself that question I was just going through life and just going through ups and downs and having a roller coaster you know um but I knew when I was an entrepreneur when I started my entrepreneurship at 13 I knew that I wanted to be something greater than what I already was you know so you know what do you want so ask yourself that you know decide what you want and after you figure out what you want then there's number two why do you want to figure out why do you want this do you want this for yourself do you want this for your family you know um if you stick to the end of this video i'm actually going to go into these four components in more detail so you can get what i'm saying so number two is why you know basically that will be your purpose that will drive you to get it and chase after your dreams and chase after your goals and your your vision of what you want you know uh, no matter what and this actually helps you not to give up so easily 
it really do so when you decide you want to give up and like you know what I'm not gonna do this I'm gonna quit my my career I'm gonna quit my you know my passion I'm just gonna get me a regular nine to five job and join the rest of the mediocre people you know uh this right here when you remind yourself of your why of why you're doing it your purpose behind it you will not give up you will like you know what I can't give up my family's depending on me my team depending on me people who I inspire depends on me so I'm gonna keep going no matter what I'm gonna trust the process and I'm gonna keep going and which leads to number three you have to believe in yourself you have to believe it and see it in your mind and your heart basically the feeling of it you know you have to believe in it and see it every day 24 7 if you don't you will be sorry <laughs> like you you will again you will perish you will fall down you will really have no sense of urgency and guidance so once you believe it in your mind and your heart you will it will give you basically energy to keep going it will definitely give you energy to keep going throughout your journey and because you believe strongly in it you know it's your perspective you're like yeah I, I am a millionaire I am that you know I am that vision that I set out so you actually you really have to believe it and so there are some times where you feel like you will give up but you really have to believe that you can do this you will do this you can do this you know and you won't give up until you succeed and then you're gonna keep going after you succeed your goals you're gonna expand your goals expand more in your life you know you, you're not gonna even just settle just for that you can keep going you know and number four plan of action this is this is where a lot of people get stumped at after they decide what they want they know their why they believe it um plan of action people start procrastinating because they start thinking about what other people think about them they start thinking about what if what you know what if it doesn't work what if i fail oh my god what my friends think who cares just freaking do it it's your dream it's what you want go after it at the end of the day they're not going to be paying your bills. At the end of the day, they're not going to die with you. <laughs> you have to think about that. So basically, a plan of action. Do, do not allow your friends or family or anybody to stop you on your journey of getting what you want, to fulfilling your dreams and aspirations, to fulfilling your vision and your purpose. Okay, that's basically what your vision is, is your dreams. You know, what do you see in your near future? What do you see in your now? You know, in your presence. Um, so, and that's with the plan of action, taking step by step actions to make it happen. So the first one, of course, decide what you want. Now, when I said decide what you want, really meaning what do you want? Okay, what is it that you want? Is it time freedom, financial freedom, lifestyle freedom, where you want to travel and enjoy your life without saying, oh, I got to go on vacation. A lot of people right now that I know that works a nine to five job I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a nine to five job but a lot of people who don't like their jobs or who actually do they only take vacations like twice a year twice a year like that's that's to be honest that's not even freedom that's like slavery reward <laughs> I'm just being honest here okay um, but twice a year is not me personally I love having a freedom lifestyle because I get to choose I have a choice to travel where I want when I want with whoever I want and what time I want I don't have to ask for a boss permission hey can I go on vacation leave no I don't have to do that that's what part of being an entrepreneur is it gives you choices it gives you a choice you don't have to settle for anything you get to make your own decision right then and there and being able to enjoy life and travel um, I've been able to been blessed to work really smart, work really hard and effectively to where I can travel. You know, I've been able to travel, uh, man, just bits and pieces around the world and even just around the nation of the United States uh, and seeing places that I always wanted to see because there is some beautiful places out here in the U U.S. as well as all around the world. So and going on adventures and I love going on adventures. So. It was a blessing to be able to do such things without me having to call out of work and saying, Hey, I got to go and leave or I can't come in. Like, that's doing too much. <laughs> in my taste, a 9 to 5 job did not fit me. I'm too creative for that. And also, some of you may like your day job. So you just want the low-hanging fruit. Some of you just want a house. Y'all just want a car or a yacht or your own boat or your own theme park. You want something that's low-hanging fruit this is the stuff that's physically tangible that you can touch 
as to where when you have time freedom, you get to enjoy the time because time is something you really can't get back. Some of you, y'all really are giving spirit person. So some of you want to give back to your community or just to a cause that you love. Now with having that type of freedom, you be able to do that. You know, um, also some of you might want to just fund for your passion and dreams, aka the vision. <laughs> so, you know, that's what you want. I just want to live out my vision. I just want to live out my dreams as a writer or as a music artist or as an acrobatic uh, backflip person or as a truck driver. It, you know, so I know some people who want to be a photographer and it's like they're scared to jump. And I tell them, just take a leap of faith and just jump. Oh, what if I can't pay bills? I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen besides you going homeless? I mean, I've been through a hurricane, so I've already know what it's like to be homeless without a house. We're coming to back with crumbled up things, you know, so I know what it's like to come to that type of thing. So I've already been, in my opinion, at my lowest. <laughs> and so there was only one way to go, and that was up. So the next thing is, why do you want this? Why do you want that time freedom? Why do you want that car, that house? Why do you want to give back to others? Why do you want that? You know, um, as in my case, family. I do it for my family, for my mom, for my brothers, you know, for people who look up to me, my team, my following that I inspire. And I really did not know I inspired that many people until I made a decision to go after what I want with no questions asked, with no Without even worry about risking anything. I was like, you know, I have nothing to lose. I mean, I have a life, but, you know, I really have nothing to lose because I'm going after what I actually do desire and want. You know, some of you are doing this for yourself to better yourself as a person, to grow yourself. You know, again, giving back to a cause, you know. Uh, basically, some of you, that's probably your purpose, giving back to a charity or your community or actually creating, creating a cause, you know. Um... And the most important ones, all of these are important, but my favorite one is to create wealth in abundance. If you think in abundance and you think in wealth, you will actually obtain it. But you have to believe in it. Exactly. Believe and see it. <laughs> this is the next one, of course. Believe and see it, you know, which leads me to this. You, you have to create a vision board. This is, this is one thing that I've learned. If I'm going to see it and believe it, I have to see it really physically in front of me. So what I did was I created a vision board. And this actually consists of all, you know, your dreams and your aspirations of what you want. You know, um, I actually got a clip of, you know, a, a video clip of my vision board. So, uh, check this out real quick and, yeah. Here is a sample of my vision board right here. I'm actually in the process of getting an, uh, another board to add on to it because my vision has grown much bigger. Um, and this is just a sample of it. Um... You know, basically just the, you know, what I want out of life, you know, not just material things, but, you know, things like giving back, uh, you know, uh, New York Times bestselling author because I love to write. You know, I have places on there that uh, I like to visit and some of them I already have visited, you know, um, things like Grant Cardone wanting to get mentored by him personally, uh, you know, how to dress more professional, like type of suits. You know, I like to rock and stuff like that. And, of course, most importantly, my family. You know, and just reminding myself, giving out leadership and whatnot. So, this is just a sample of what you can do for your vision board. Um, and, like I said, you could just start right here with, you know, creating your vision board. It's very simple. It's a simple action. Uh, step closer to your dreams and seeing it, okay? You have to believe in it wholeheartedly. Like, you really have to believe it. Below this video, I might have some links to some resources that you can use to get started on building up your belief level and seeing it inside of your mind and also feeling it in your heart so basically just to help you recondition your mind so uh in the description of this video just click the link that says uh resources uh pd resources or personal development resources that you can actually look at uh just some clips of videos and uh, motivational speakers and leaders that I actually look up to so basically I'm giving you an insight of what I do you know meditation wise and how I actually get more closer to my vision you know more closer to my purpose and really just continue to align myself with that vision um, because that's what I want and that's what I am is my vision you are your vision I need for you to know that and understand that
You are your vision. Whatever you envision in your mind and you believe in it because you see it for yourself and for your family, that is what you are. So throughout your journey, you will become your vision. You just have to believe it and take the action steps, which actually leads me to the most important one, taking action. If you do not take action, if you do not take the necessary steps, you will be at a standstill. You will be procrastinating you know by now you understand the most important thing about having a vision and when you have a vision you have direction of moving forward towards your future towards your present journey towards who you would love to become becoming a better person fulfilling your purpose and by now you understand the most important thing to do is just do it okay once you decide what you want you know why you want it now you know the plan of action all you have to do is just do it because you will sabotage yourself okay sometimes we can be our own greatest enemy when we should really be our greatest heroes but you yourself have to just go out there and do it okay so do the work put in the time put in the effort create you a vision board get out there and go get it okay hope y'all actually like and enjoy this episode of weekly entrepreneur tv again i'm meeting the idealist now, if you want more information uh, about uh, to keep an update with this weekly Entrepreneur TV and you want to be the first to actually get it, be sure you subscribe to this channel and also this profile wherever this video is at on my Facebook. Um, also, subscribe to my Instagram at Nini the Idealist. Be sure you like this video, okay? And like this page. Also, give me some thumbs up. <laughs> Um, be sure you actually comment below your dreams and aspirations. You know, let me know your dreams and aspirations. Comment below this video right now and do that while you're watching this. Um, and also share this video with other people, especially your team, you know, friends, family. Just put it on your Facebook or your YouTube profile and let people know about this video. Um, because this was some great value and I hope you got a lot of value out of this, okay? So I'll see you on the next episode of Weekly Entrepreneur TV. I mean, the idealist. Signing out, Stack Star. Peace.